One of the most important skills that you can learn in business and in life, really, is learning how to delegate. And I'm going to talk about that in this video. Now, when it comes to delegating, you can delegate to other people, you can delegate to processes, or you can delegate to both. And when it comes to deciding what you're going to delegate, you need to ask yourself, does this have to be done by me? You know, am I the only person who can do this task? Is this something that requires my own personal attention? Or can it be delegated to somebody else? Or can it be delegated to something else? Because after all, automated processes is a type of delegation. Now, let's just take a look at this slide here, which is typical of the sort of things that someone who runs a home and a business will need to look out for. Uh, you have to do things like the cooking, cleaning, looking after the family, home maintenance, transport. You might have to drive your kids all over the place, uh, looking after websites if you run an online business, finding new clients, creating products or providing services, dealing with correspondence, you know, emails, letters, phone calls, that sort of thing. And of course, the bane of every business person's life, doing the books, paying the bills, dealing with the accounts, that sort of thing. And I'm sure there are many more tasks that, quite frankly, just simply don't have room to fit onto this slide. No wonder the caricature in the middle here is looking a bit glum. Well, let's look at how tasks on this slide could be delegated. First of all, delegate the cooking. You can always eat out. And you're delegating the cooking to the people in the restaurant. Then there's the cleaning. You can hire a cleaner to do that for you. You know, your time is valuable. If you're doing your cleaning, then you're charging yourself a great deal of money for something that actually has a very low value. When it comes to home maintenance, there's all sorts of maintenance contractors out there who can do things like giving the outside a lick of paint or cutting the grass and weeding the flower beds and that sort of thing. Uh, and they can be hired locally very easily. When it comes to transport, well, you can get an account with a taxi firm. Lots of cab companies will actually offer a discounted rate to their contract customers. So ask around and then you can simply give everybody the taxi company's number and your account number. And then they can simply book a cab to get around freeing you up to do other things. You can see our character is starting to brighten up a bit. Now, when it comes to work, of course, looking after websites is certainly something that you should delegate to a web design company, because if you have an amateurish looking website, then you're going to give the impression that you're giving an amateurish service or you're providing an amateurish product. So outsourcing, looking after your website to a web design company is a good move for all sorts of reasons. Then there's creating products or providing services. Now that can be outsourced, especially if you're making a digital product or you're providing a service online. And there are lots of websites out there like freelancer.com or Upwork that can put you in touch with talented freelancers who can do the job for you. For short jobs, small jobs, you can usually use fiverr.com. Now when it comes to correspondence, well, Replying to emails can be delegated to an autoresponder. And that's a, a, probably the best example of actually delegating to a thing rather than to a person. An autoresponder company like a Weber or MailChimp or someone like that will set you up an account and you can simply send out emails on schedule so you don't have to worry about emailing your newsletter to every client individually. And for other things like answering the mail, answering the phone, that sort of thing, you can always hire a virtual assistant or VA. And again, you can look on sites like freelancer.com or Upwork and so on. When it comes to doing the accounts, paying the bills, that sort of thing, well, you should outsource that to your accountant because they have the necessary skills and the time that they can devote to it. 
And you can also outsource it to bookkeeping software as well. So you can keep track of everything. You don't have to sort of do your figuring out in the back of an envelope. You can actually enter your details in. And some of the um, bookkeeping packages that are out there now are very advanced. You can break down spending and you can break down income so you can see exactly where your money's coming from and exactly where your money's going to. And so you can uh, concentrate on the areas that are most profitable. So you see, with all this stuff now delegated, that leaves you to do the two most important things, which is looking after your family and finding new clients. And these are things that have to be done by you. You really can't outsource or delegate those. And as you can see, uh, our caricature in the middle here is now looking very happy indeed without having quite so much to occupy its mind. Now, exactly what or how much you delegate is going to be up to you, really. And a lot of it's going to depend upon what you can afford, because obviously, if you're not doing it, you're having to pay someone or something to do it for you and what you're comfortable with. You know, some people find that they really do need to be in control of lots of things involving their business and their life. Other people are more comfortable with letting other people do it. And there is no right or wrong to that. It just depends whichever you're comfortable with. So there you go. This is how you can get organized and delegate and have more time to do the things that really matter.